Hey everybody, welcome into this Adobe Express tutorial. This tutorial is brought to us by Adobe and Adobe Express. What is Adobe Express? Well, Adobe Express is a free web-based tool that is going to be your go-to for creating content for your social media platforms. Not only is it amazing and easy to create content for your social media platforms, but they've got an incredible scheduling tool, calendar. It's amazing. You got to check it out. It's free. And oh, by the way, if you have the, a, a subscription to Creative Cloud, not only do you get the free version, you get kind of like a premium version, which is an even better version of the free version, but it's still free for everybody. Let's jump into Adobe Express right now and create some graphics for Instagram. Let's go. All right, here is Adobe Express. Now, the whole thing with Adobe Express, it begins kind of up here with the big plus icon. I am going to select the plus icon and we're gonna go ahead and create an Instagram story. Here is the design user interface. And you'll see when this loads up that we have presented to us a bunch of different templates. And we have 6,400 plus Instagram story templates at this point in time. Uh, you can browse through all of these, of course. I'm gonna grab this red one here for inspirational. And we are going to create uh, a little Instagram story using a Marcus Aurelius quote. So I'm gonna go ahead and select Chris and I'm going to delete him. We're gonna change up the quote and the, of course, attribution and uh, just make some changes here. So uh, the first thing about uh, Adobe Express when you're working in this editing mode is you simply click on elements and you can begin changing them, right? So here's the text. I can go ahead and here change the text. I can get rid of it, whatever. I'm gonna go over here to my text document and I'm gonna select all of this text here, this Marcus Aurelius quote, because who doesn't love old Marcus? And I am going to just paste that into place. Now, a couple things. First and foremost, this template already has a quote floating up above the text field. So I'm gonna get rid of that first quote. I'm gonna keep the final quote. And then it's kind of out of place now. So I'm just gonna click and drag it. And you can see Express has these little guides that just sort of yeah, snap you right back into place. There you go, that's what you meant to do, right? Another thing, if you scroll down over here in the right-hand toolbar or properties bar, I should say, uh, you have just automatic font recommendations. So maybe you want it to be a little bit more literary. You can go with a serif font or something like that. The other thing is we're gonna talk about changing the color of this text. Uh, and that's going to bring us into uh, contention with this highlight feature, which is pretty cool. But before we do that, let's go ahead and change the author. I'm going to say, hey, this is actually Marcus. Aurelius, and it is from his meditations, if I can remember how to spell meditations. Uh, one quick thing here, notice Marcus and Aurelius on, on different lines. Uh, the reason that's happening is of course, because there's not enough room, so you can grab that handle, stretch your type or text field out to the right, and voila, it's on uh, kind of just on a level playing field now. Uh, all right, let's change some colors. We wanna make this more green. We wanna add uh, a little sculpture or artwork of Marcus Aurelius as well. Uh, let's go ahead and begin by selecting this background. Uh, and this is in fact the background of our Instagram story. And right now it's the sort of salmon color. I'm going to select a color uh, and I'm gonna change it to a green. Uh, so I don't want it to be too violently green. So we're gonna desaturate the green a little bit. We still want it to be very light, uh, but I don't want it to be as just, you know, burning a hole through your phone when you're looking at the graphic. Cool, that's great. Don't worry about the color of the text. We're gonna change that as well. We have this sort of a diagonal overlay. We can select that. It is a shape. It has a fill. We can select the fill color and say, yeah, go ahead and just give me like, a, give me a green color here as well. Do I wanna go darker? Do I wanna go lighter? I'll probably stick with lighter. Uh, maybe go a little desaturated, something like that. We want it to be sort of sublime and smooth. Uh, now I'll select the text. And here we're gonna go with the main text, the main style, and this is the darker red color. We're going to select this and we're just gonna go with kind of a darker green. Uh, so we'll go maybe something like so, that's cool. Also, as we work and add colors and things like that, we have this current palette that is being built. And these are the colors that we've been using here in our, uh, our template. So if you're using a lot of the same color, you can just quickly grab it from your current palette. Uh, I'm gonna select the text there. I didn't mean to deselect it. I'm going to select the highlight feature. By the way, uh, if you have the highlight feature selected, I could add additional words that are within the highlight here just by simply clicking on that word. See the word anger there? Boom, it is now highlighted as well. Click it again to kick it out of the highlighted group. Let's just change the color here of the highlight. Uh, we can give it that same dark green color, but we're gonna do that and then just say, yeah, do that, but 
be a little bit lighter. So maybe something like that is cool. And then I will select the little uh, quote up top. I'll select the color and you can see from the current palette, I have all these different colors. I'm gonna select that lighter green and now it matches perfectly. And then for Marcus Aurelius down here, we're gonna go ahead and use that same color that we have at the top of our document. So you can see very, very quickly uh, with me explaining, we changed all these colors and it was super duper easy. If you're doing it without listening to me going on and on about it, it's gonna be even faster. Let's add Marcus Aurelius. So over here, you have your photos option. By the way, you have shapes, design assets, backgrounds. You build a logo on here, all kinds of cool stuff. Um, you have all these different free uh, photos. You have stuff from Adobe Stock as well. That's great. Uh, you can search Adobe Stock right here from Adobe Express. But you can also upload your own images. And that's exactly what I'm going to do because I have a piece of artwork that I'm going to use. And it's right here, this Marcus Adobe Stock JPEG. I'm gonna just go ahead and hit open. And as you can see, it places this little image in my uh, in my Instagram story. I'm gonna grab one of the corners to just change the scaling. I'm gonna make them kind of big and we're gonna place him down here. Uh, now, of course, you see the problem. There's all of this white. We just wanna preserve the outline of him. Uh, this is part of why it's advantageous to use artwork, just white and black like this, because we can use the blend modes and the blend mode of multiply will just kick away all the really bright stuff and just leave us with those nice dark lines. So now we have that artwork that can kind of tuck down in the corner here. Cool, we could even make it a little bigger if we want, whatever, we don't have to make it perfect. It's just for show. Uh, in fact, we could reduce the opacity a little bit. Uh, and what that's going to do is still preserve those dark lines, but it's just gonna allow some of that green to come through those dark lines and just influence it a little bit. So this is it, we made our Instagram story. At this point, you can do a whole bunch of things and there's a lot of really cool stuff you can do at this point. So let's go over some of it and make some adjustments. First and foremost, I wanna take this and I wanna post it on social media. Well, you can select the download button, choose to download a PNG, PNG with a transparent background. We have colors in our background here. We don't have any transparency, so that's a moot point. Uh, the JPEG, the PDF, PDF, if you're a graphic designer and you use Adobe Illustrator, for instance, you can download your artwork Bring it into, bring that PDF into Adobe Illustrator. You'll have all of your vector artwork. That's awesome. Uh, so a lot of cool stuff there. You can also select the calendar and this is gonna open the Adobe Express scheduler, which I'm not gonna lie, probably my favorite part of Adobe Express, although there's a lot of great stuff. Uh, you can link up all the different social media accounts you have, maybe client work, whatever you're doing. And you can see it automatically brings the media over. You could add a caption to an Instagram photo. You could add your tweet, whatever it is and schedule it. I want it to go out September 2nd or September 20th or whatever day it is at 1.30 a.m. or 12.26 in the afternoon. Whatever time you want your stuff to go live, you can schedule it, you can preview it, you can send it to whatever social media networks you are uh, connecting in here and build out an entire calendar of content. Uh, and it's a really, really great, useful tool. Even if you're just managing your own content creation to promote your business or whatever, it's great. If you're doing it for clients and other businesses, I mean, come on, it's even better. So that's number one. Uh, the next thing is you can very quickly and easily take this piece of artwork and make it into multiple pieces of artwork. What do I mean by that? Well, down here we have this duplicate page option. Uh, and each time you create a piece of artwork here in Adobe Express, Adobe kind of calls it a page. So this is page one. And if we duplicate this page, bing, by hitting that button, we now, you can see, have a number two down here. We have two pages. Now, both pages are exactly the same because we duplicated, it's exactly the same. Uh, but we're here on page two and check this out. We have this option over here called resize. I'm gonna select that. And Adobe Express is smart. It says, hey, you are working on an Instagram story. Would you like to make this a square Instagram post? Maybe an Instagram portrait, maybe an Instagram landscape, or what about a Facebook header, YouTube thumbnail, something for Twitter, all of these different print uh, and other social media uh, standard sizes that you can see here. Really, really great and useful stuff. And of course you can go ahead and just enter a custom size if you like as well. We're gonna go with the square Instagram post because we're old school like that. And look at that. It resizes the entire document. Now, it's very, very quick and easy. We can select, well, we're gonna select Marcus because see, he's kind of huge. We're gonna make him even bigger. Uh, and, and this is gonna present the problem that we're gonna kind of play with here. So we're, we're gonna leave Marcus here, but you can see now Marcus is covering up a bunch of our text, but I wanna select the text because A, I wanna make the text bigger. B, I wanna move the text. So we could do a couple things, uh, but first and foremost, you have a stack of layers down here in kind of the bottom right corner. If you select that, you can see Marcus, well, he's up here on the top. 
So we could just drag him beneath our text temporarily, uh, or we could just drag him down here so this bounding box is not covering up the text, something like that. Uh, we can also come in here and actually select the text this way. So we can select that layer and you can see the text is now selected. But I wanna select multiple pieces of text. So I'm gonna just do this kind of the down and dirty old school way. I'm gonna just move Marcus Aurelius so he's not in the way. And then I'm going to select the quote, the quote mark that is. I'm gonna hold down shift and then I can select multiple pieces of artwork or text. So that's cool. And then I'm gonna bring this text over here and then I'm going to make it much, much bigger. So maybe I'll just pull it out and make it nice and big like that. I can also select the a diagonal piece of artwork and I could push that around. Maybe I want it to just kind of more perfectly come out of the bottom left corner over here, something like so. Uh, and then I'll select Marcus Aurelius and let's bring him back into play. Maybe move him up here, something like that. So now, just like that, in just a few minutes, we've created our Instagram story and we've created our Instagram post as well. When you come back down here or over here to download, you have this option to download either just this single page or you could download all of the pages. So you would get your Instagram post and your Instagram story image, whoop, downloaded right to your computer. Uh, other thing that is important to keep uh, in mind or just useful to keep in mind is that there is an Adobe Express app. So you can download it on your phone and all of the artwork you create here on your computer, A, you can create it on your phone, but whatever you create on your computer is saved to the cloud and is automatically available for your viewing and using pleasure right there on your mobile device as well. So just kind of a convenient, frankly, something that's sort of expected these days. Uh, but you can expect it and your expectation will be satisfied. Uh, let's talk about one final thing here and that is uh, animations and watch how easy it is to take this Instagram post and animate it. Maybe we wanna turn it into a video to upload to Twitter. So we hit the animation button over here and uh, again, Adobe Express is intelligent. So we can say, hey, uh, find the text and do a typewriter animation. Boom, just like that. All I have to do is click the button and Express says, buddy, I've got it and it goes ahead and creates the animation. Uh, for something a little bit more serious and contemplative like Marcus Aurelius, I'm gonna go with more of just a subtle fade, something more like this. How much more grievous are the consequences of anger than the causes of it? And you just have this nice fade. Now we have this little play pause button here in the bottom left corner. Uh, of course, we could stop our animation if it's getting annoying watching it loop and loop and loop. Uh, the other thing is you do have these photo animations. Uh, they are, think of them as a graphic animation. And this would just detect that Marcus Aurelius here is our graphic. And let's say like blur, it would just blur him from totally blurry to not blurry. I don't want that. I want the fade. I think the text animation is cool. Uh, I'm gonna then close the animation option. Now that we have an animation, I'm gonna pause it. Uh, when you hit the download button, you now have an option to download an MP4 video file as well. So again, a lot of really useful stuff, super duper easy. Um, and I do have to say, uh, once you're finished with this project, you can just hit like projects up here, go back to your projects and you'll see it has automatically saved our project. We can go ahead and rename it if we want, right? Like rename this and just IG story, whatever. Uh, jump in and edit, of course, whenever you want. All of your projects are gonna be saved here, but there's so much here within Adobe Express. I'm not getting into it here in this video, but this brands feature is pretty stinking cool. Really, really useful. Uh, it, whether you're just creating stuff for your own business uh, or you're working with multiple clients, it can be really incredibly useful. So thank you Adobe for sponsoring this video. Guys, if you have Creative Cloud, this is like playing with free money. You just get Adobe Express. Check it out. I've got a link down in the description. It's amazing. I uh, am so happy that I have found this uh, and I am using it for my social media content and trying to really ramp up and create more social media content than I am now. And stuff like Adobe Express just makes it easier. I think you'll enjoy it. Check it out. Thank you so much for watching this video. Ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna be it for this one. Get it? Got it? Good. Dodson, I'll catch you in the next one.